Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of appropriate ages, I am Bruce, aka Haunted Husband, and welcome to my Indie Game Collective showcase of Card Corruptors. Now, this is your first time, or your hunt time on my channel, hit that subscribe button, won't you? What's stopping you? It's free. You like indie games, you like indie demos, you want to see awesome content like this from indie developers, hit that subscribe button, won't you? By subscribing, you'll be notified when my videos go live daily. So you love indie games, you love all any types of indie content, smash it! What's stopping you? Go and do it. For the love of, of me. If you love me. There we go. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, this is the Indie Game Collective showcase of the game. So you're wondering, what the crap's the Indie Game Collective? Well, let me tell you. We're a grassroots community of content creators who focus solely on indie games. And we do so through live streams, videos, written reviews, Steam curation, podcasts, social media, and so much more. In the description below, you'll find a link to our Twitter page. There you can find out more about us, how you can join us, even how these games showcase by us. I'd like to give a big thanks and shout out to developer publisher, <clears throat> sorry, Fuzzy Fuzz Force, uh, and the Game Collective for hooking me up with this. This is an extreme, extreme pre-alpha demo of the game. Uh, at the time of me playing this, it's not available anywhere. I have it, you don't. By the time you're watching this video though, it would have just been announced an hour or so ago, and you could probably go pick up the demo for yourself, which I highly recommend. In fact, if you want to pick up the demo for yourself, in the description below there will be a link to the Steam page, where you can pick up the demo and wish this a game, because I recommend this game to you if you're in the card battlers. It has kind of a unique take to it, and we'll get into that in just a second. Um, I have no information on it other than that. I have the developer's name, Fuzz Force. I have that it was just announced the day you're watching this video, M mere hour ago when you're watching this video. And I have the game. So what's not to love about that? We're getting into it. Let's go ahead and start. Um, it's right now. It's just mouse and uh, it's just keyboard. Sorry. Hopefully, when the full demo comes out, not the alpha demo that I have, that you can point and click because this is definitely be easier as a, a point and click type of game instead of having to use the arrow keys in the space bar. This is us. We're this dragon. So basically, you can see what's ahead of you. Question mark. Question mark. There's a there's a battle to our left right there. So look at this tile. There's nothing. We keep on moving. Nothing there. That's more combat. We'll go down here. Treasure chest. Check it out. We got two gold. Stepped on some spikes because, you know, we're smart like that. Picked up an extra card. Uh, plus two defense, negative two power. Probably not going to be playing that, but okay. So let's do some combat, shall we? So at the start of every combat, you get this chance to gamble for two bonus cards. And of course we're going to gamble. So you see that there's five positive effects and three negative effects. But we have no idea, so we're going to shuffle. Uh, this one. And... There we go. Not the best positive effects we could have got, but not they weren't negative effects either, so... Okay, so everyone must wait before their turn. This is based on their speed and everyone's different. And casts last as long as the cast time of their upcoming skills. As you can see. If I attack an enemy that's casting B to C, I will break them. This moves the next skill from their turn. Breaking all of an enemy's skill interrupts them, skipping their turn entirely. But, breaks only happen when HP is lowered, so armor and dodges are still a good defense. Hmm, what else do I need to tell you? Uh, press V to swap a card in your hand with a new one from your deck. Press F5 to inspect status effects on everyone in the battle. I can use three cards each turn, but that can go up or down. Oh, I can cancel or remove cards I've selected with X or left control. So you see that we're the first one up to cast. But that doesn't necessarily mean we're going to cast first. Because uh, depending on how many cards we put into our hand, it will affect our cast speed. And if our enemy is much faster than us, they can bypass us in the cast, causing us to be interrupted. 
So I always like to start with a good armor first. Because even if they break that, that's not a big deal. Um, we could be greedy here, uh, but we'll do that. Ooh, that bat almost caught up to us. Pump's just going to shield, okay. And we can see the bat's going to hit us for four. Um, chances are we're probably not going to get... So that's nine. Uh, this will give us six. We'll take three damage. I'm fine with just that. Um, can we beat them to the cast is the question. Uh, we're doing 1.25. They're doing... Got poison a little bit. That's not good. We're definitely in the driver's seat right now for this. So we win that cast. He gets destroyed. We give ourselves some armor. So we can basically just do whatever we want to uh, to this pumpkin guy. Because we're so far in the head of the cast. It's going to take a lot for him to catch up to us. A little burn. A little damage. A little shield. Uh, he has 10 health left. Let's roll him with that. Could be risky if he catches us. He's not going to catch us. Should be just enough. There we go. And after each battle, you get a chance to pick up some loot. And it's your choice. Do you want a new card? Do you want a new charm? Do you want one coin? Inflicts it po uh, inflict, inflict power negative one on all enemies that start a battle. Draw one more card each turn. Play plus one card next turn. Inflict eight damage. You take two damage. Uh, deal three damage and inflict four burn twice. We'll take that card. That's a better card. Of course we'll gamble. I would love to start with haste. Actually, I'd like to start with ten armor and plus power, but no my call. So we'll go here. And so it, it, it evens out. They get plus one, I get plus one. So no one's any better. No one's attacking, so we'll just do this. Really, his poison still gets out there, huh? Um, I think we got this. Let me, nah, we're so far ahead, it's ridiculous. We took a little damage, but that's fine. Uh, eat some of that. So let's see. Shit him with a five, that'd have been the end of it. <laughs> Still the end of it, but. Could have been better. We could have been more efficient with our cards. Uh, game power plus one at the start of battle. Uh, 
plus two power, negative two defense. Uh, deal damage to all enemies equal to your burn stacks. That could be pretty good. Uh, choose two bonus cards for HP and move. Sure. We could heal or we could lose health or we could gain money or lose money. Sure. And we're going to go here. Was it worth it? No. We really need to find a, a shop. We can buy some cards. We can upgrade some cards. Um, and no thanks. Deal 12 damage, gain 5 slow. I mean, that could be pretty good. Uh, where is... So when you're upgrading cards, you have two choices. You can either gain power, which costs you speed, or you can gain speed, which kind of sacrifices your powers a little bit. So I could either deal damage to all enemies equal to your burn stacks twice, but it's a two second card. Or you can deal damage to all enemies equal to your burn stacks and it's a one second card. You know, I'm not going to really uh, spend any money at the moment. I'm going to... I'm just going to leave. Uh, rest and recover 10 HP. Toss card into the fire. Increase rest HP by removing cards. I really just do that. Onwards. Ooh. We got some poison and we got some money. So we have some combat we can get into. <clears throat> I think this is the boss, so I want to start with seven haste. Why not? We gambled this far. Once again, we balance out. Negative one, negative one. Who cares? Well, he's got um, 70 HP, huh? He's going to hit us for four. We'll take that four. Uh, poison loses one HP every second. I don't want to... Might overtake him? Ooh, just barely. Four seconds. He's about his for 16, huh? Um, so that's going to give him 10 burn stacks. That's going to do 20 damage. If I read that right.
It missed? Ah, uh, he's going 3.5. I don't have time for another card. It'll make me too slow. Hmm, let's think about this. We can't take all these shots to the, the dome piece. Point two five. Now it's gonna make it just, just too slow. We can take that hit. I wish I could. Um, come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! You said that we had the faster cast speed. Is that card broken because it's not doing any damage? No, that's going to be too slow. I had poison. He's going three seconds. He doesn't really have any burn on him per se. And he's just shielding and powering up, so. Yeah, that's not doing any damage. Why is that card not doing any damage? Am I misreading it somehow? Deal damage to all enemies equal to your burn stacks. Um, I forgot the button that it said that would show you the the status effects. Uh, it's not Q. It's not V, E, or X. I thought I said left control. Once again, it said I had the faster cast time. Now he has eight freaking shield.
he's getting double armor next time. So that's just... His shielding's not going to do anything to me. That's 15. Um, that's 12. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, no. I got my tech out first. Don't fucking bullshit me like that. You can get your cast off time first. I don't fucking care. Because you can get poisoned. You can get smacked for three. I'm going to armor up a little bit. There we go. I'm not too sure why that card wasn't... <clears throat> and that does it for our look at the, uh, the first biome. Um, this is a lot of fun. Once again... This was just announced about an hour ago. Um, in the description below, you'll find a link to the Steam page. Go pick it up for yourself. It's a lot of fun. Wishlisted to know, be notified about future updates on it. Pick it up. And if you enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe as always. By watching the video, liking the video, you tell YouTube that then you show it to more people, so forth and so on. It helps me beat the YouTube algorithm. Also lets me know I'm doing a good job. And I appreciate that. Uh, I'll be back at it again tomorrow with more indie games, indie demos, great content like this for you developers. Once again, description below, Steam page, pick up the demo, wish us the game. You won't regret it, especially if you're a card battler, a roguelite type of person like I am. Go get it. And until, until then, my dungeon crawlers, I'll haunt you later.